It's back day. Back, some biceps. We got a pretty much an empty gym here. Fitness culture is just the perfect place for a back day. We just knocked out some chin ups for our warm up. 12, 10, 8, 6. We're gonna roll some B roll on that right now. So biggest things we have, back muscles, pull down and a row. We're working the lats, lat width, lat thickness. So we're starting off, like I said, body weight. Now we're going straight into our, our row here. So everything's prescribed. Everything is laid out in front of us on this program. All we gotta do is give it 110% effort and use perfect form and show up. thing on a row here, or really on any back exercise, scapula retraction here. So as we set up for a row, set up just rowing with our biceps, squeeze the lats down and back, row to the sternum and back down. Since we're still waiting for our hammer strength equipment and our lat pull down, this is gonna have to work. If you're in a gym where you don't have weights to go heavy enough on something like a lat pull down or a seated row, just change up the time under tempo. So try to bring it down slower, you know, more, more time on the eccentric, more time on the concentric, and that'll make it hard. That or pre-exhaust something. So maybe do a couple pull-ups and then come to this on the assisted pull-up machine. Just do something to where that you fail where you should be failing on. 12, 10, 8 on these all going up as we get heavier in weight, down in reps. So most of our training right now is pyramid fashion like that. So on this first couple months of the SWOL program, probably the first two months, pyramid style. You know, very similar to what Arnold, how he trained. Um, and then we're gonna start incorporating in probably be more things to extend the sets, drop sets, things like that. Um, but this program, again, best way to get big, training in that hypertrophy rep range. We're also hitting a little bit of the strength. Um, and then how you eat is gonna determine how much size you gain and how fat. Ultimately, if you're gaining too fast, you need to cut back or vice versa. Next up, single arm movement. So we've done a lot of double arm movements today. Obviously the pull up on the lat pull downs. So switching it up to a single arm movement, this is great because what happens is we all have one side that's stronger than the other. So at least in every single workout, we try to do one movement that is just a single arm or single leg movement. It's a great way to work out imbalances. Today, we got dumbbell rows, 12, 10, eight, six. I'm gonna add that six in there. We're gonna get nice and heavy on here. The biggest thing on dumbbell rows, we talk about what we're doing. We're trying to work those lats. And if we just work the biceps, again, scapular retraction starting off and then pulling to the hip. So pulling back to the hip instead of just straight up. I don't want your elbow coming out, I want your elbow going back to the hip. That's the biggest thing I want you guys thinking about as we do these. Last thing for back, <clears throat> got biceps too after this too. You know, it's one of my favorite split is what I'm doing right now. It's one I did in college and it's chest with a little bit of triceps and shoulders as secondary muscles. It's legs with either a quad or hamstring emphasis. Back, with a little bit of biceps and a little bit of posterior delt, like just one set to offset um, some, some of that shoulder movement we've done on the pushing days. And then it's a shoulder and arm day. One of my favorite sets are splits because then we come back to another leg day. So I feel like I'm hitting everything one and a half times, two times a week. It's actually every eight days is the way it works out. We always take Sunday off, but the way we've structured it is where you hit everything twice in eight days. And it's all, honestly, it's just the right amount of volume, I think, to gain size and get more muscular. It's always been my favorite since I was even in college. So we're gonna finish off back here and then hit biceps. For me, I always put, put biceps at the end of back. I, I just feel like my biceps are already a little bit tired. Might as well just finish them off with a little bit. And then I'll also probably hit one exercise for posterior delt. But for our superset, we're gonna go this kind of row lat pull down. It's an interesting machine up high to low, and then we're doing T-bar, chest supported row, 
dumbbell pullovers. We're gonna be doing 12, 10, eight giant sets and then 90 seconds rest in between. Lat pullover. So this has been, a, it's been a minute since I've done a dumbbell lat pullover. We're stretching the chest, which is nice because we just hit chest. So be stretching throughout. What we want to do, place shoulder blades on the pad, bench going horizontally. So we're perpendicular with it. And as we drop the dumbbell behind our head, we sink our hips, great stretch. And then keeping the elbows almost all the way straight, just a slight bend. We come up and we squeeze with the lats. So we squeeze the lats just like we would in a bench press, down and back, and then go throughout that motion again. It's a great stretch in the rib cage. Ah, working the lats as we come over there, and then also it's gonna stretch the triceps too. Okay, last round here before we move on to biceps. This last round, make sure we squeeze. Give it that extra little squeeze at the top. It's the little things like that. Coming into each workout, I try to think of one thing I wanna work on. Maybe it might be full range of motion. It might be squeezing. It might be turning my wrists all the way out on a bicep curl. It might be making sure that I'm always engaging my scapula first. And typically what I like to do is master each little tiny little technique and then move on and do another one. So this last one, we're gonna be squeezing as hard as I can at the top and then coming back down. That's it for our back. So arms today, we got the easy bar curl. We got sets of 12, three sets of 12. Incline double arm dumbbell curl, three sets of 12. Uh, easy bar reverse curl. Easy bar grip spider curl. Easy bar reverse grip spider curl. That one is one you don't see every day. Um, and then we have a superset. Those are both a superset. And then an alternating dumbbell helmet curls and cable Spider-Man curls. And then abs afterwards and then mobility. That. It's a 90 minute routine right, right there. If you guys want, if you guys don't have 90 minutes and you guys want to do a program, you just click on the 90 minutes and it switches to 60 minutes or 30 minutes. So we have a 90, a 60, or a 30 minutes. So there's no excuse. No excuse. You got to come in, get the damn workout done. That's true, Steve. You do. <laughs> now I'm going to be voiceover. First thing we have is easy bar bicep curls, three sets of 12 on this. Using the arm blaster. Looking big, man. Looking big. That's what I love about the the arm blaster. Then we have first superset, incline double arm dumbbell curls. The biggest thing here is make sure you stretch at the bottom. We're supersetting that with an easy bar reverse grip spider curl. Probably haven't done these before. Great for the biceps brachialis. Oh, get it Steve, looking massive. Good job buddy, way to push, way to go man. Um, after that we have alternating dumbbell hammer curls, three sets of 10 with the superset of Cable Superman Curls. Cable Superman Curls here are a great finisher movement. So, I mean, you can see in there we have five movements for arms, and that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe!